Welcome, Wargamers, to another painting vlog on my Signer Army. Um, okay, so I think I painted like one of these. Maybe it was like this guy. You can't really see, but anyways, we got him painted. And then we got the Heavy Warjack painted. And then our Lancer painted. You know, the charge, I don't know. I can't remember the specific names. Anywho, right now I gotta work on my long gunners. So the squad of six of them, uh, the package just comes with 10, but uh, the, when I, so I have to paint the six, which will be 17 points, which is above 15 points. I guess I could bring like four of them. Uh, the games I've set up this week, actually tomorrow and later on, I'll probably face um, one guy named Dave, he plays Trollbloods. So that'll be exciting to play some hordes, see how that works, because I haven't seen it in action yet. And then also, uh, I'll probably be playing Matt as well against his Kador. And so I do got to paint six long gunners up and Striker, or yeah, Striker. So that'll be objective today. I didn't even get through like half of a Warjack last time, so we'll see how we go, how we do. Um. I forgot the comments. Let me go grab them. Oh. All right. <clears throat> yep. I need the space resource management. Oh, before we start, remember last uh, couple of videos ago when I did my speed painting or speed assembly, someone asked what I was spraying. It's this. It's Army Painter Magic Super Glue Activator. Instantly hardened super glue. It actually works pretty well. Um, it's not like instant instant, but uh, it helps when there's not like when, especially on the the arms of the warjacks, it's kind of just almost like a like a ball, and you just kind of like stick it wherever you want. So it's another. It doesn't stick very well. Like it's e easy to slide back and forth, and with the super glue, it's just like you're just holding it and holding it. It's annoying. So if you do it and you quick spray on each one and hold it there, you'll hold, have to hold it for like. 30 seconds instead of like three minutes. So that's, I think it's great. I love it. Oh, I don't even know what, I guess lots of brown is a popular choice for these long gunners. And then I gotta see if this blue that I have matches the blue from the spray paint. Kind of, not really. Darn it. Well, we'll see when it when it dries. Hmm, I'd never painted skin before besides orc skin, which is just green, which is great, it's fine. I actually have to worry about these guys' faces. Ugh. Not looking forward to that. I'm sure it won't be that bad once I get the first one done. And all their eyes are covered in goggles. Right? Yeah. So, at least I don't have to do eyes. Those are hard to make look good. Like, some of them, like, just look great. All the ones you're like, they look like, mm, like, retarded. And I don't like dealing with that. Basically, what you'll learn to find out is that I enjoy playing much more than painting. But once I get a paint scheme down and I'm comfortable with it, I actually do enjoy it. Like if I had to paint more jacks, I'm fine. I got a paint scheme down. I think they look pretty good. Um, here's a closer up shot if you guys want it. I guess probably not very clear still, but. It's the basic gist. Um, but yeah, so I'm like, I got that down. There's no like figuring out what colors. So I'm more excited to paint that than than anything else. It's cold in here, but it kind of reminds me of my basement. You just, it's cold, but you just stay there for a little while and you get used to it and then you're fine. You are fine. So all the different types of browns. Now I got vermin brown, snake bite leather, bubonic. These are all the old GW paints. Scorched brown. And then my Reaper paints, 
tanned shadow, muddy brown, and earth brown. Some of these will overlap a bit. Then I'll probably need pure black. And obviously Devil Mud for later. Some blood red. Maybe scab red. Hmm. And of course mithril sil silver for the weapons. Works great. And tin bits for... I'm not sure if I'll need any tin bits. Well, we'll keep her on the side. All my greens I don't need. Oh, I have more Devlin mud. Oh yeah, this Devlin mud's Justin's. I borrowed it. <laughs> Used a lot of it too. <laughs> and then, oh, another another blue. So I see. So I'm my blues over here. Browns, black, reds. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys do that. I like to kind of just like pick one color and just like paint around and have like, and mi mix it up a bit. Don't make everything exactly the same. It's easier when you're painting orc boys because <laughs> everything's supposed to be random like that. But, um, long gunners, okay. So this guy half started painting, he's all kind of brownish. Now all the browns kind of turned into the same kind of brown, so. Let's venture into the Games Workshop Browns. Hopefully, oh, I haven't used these paints in a while. I'm gonna leave lots of water. Ugh. So anyways, um, last couple weeks have been fun. I have some battle reports with uh, my Orcs versus Necrons and other things. Um, like I said, I have two battle reports that are gonna be set up for this week with my Signar army. That's what I'm painting right now, so you guys will be able to see that. So hopefully that'll be exciting to watch. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot darker brown. This will be a little more variant to it. It's good. Um, other than that, same old. Me and my brother have recently started playing Minecraft and all my spare time is gone. He's more into it than I am. He's like going around on like creative mode and he's just like making this massive Viking village with all these like ships offshore and it's pretty extensive, pretty cool. Like I mean there's tons of stuff online of just amazing, amazing stuff but his is, his is decent even compared with all the amazing stuff. I've been starting to get more into redstone and making funny little contraptions. Again, just starting out, so I really have nothing to show as of yet, but having fun with it. All right, I printed off these comments so you could look at them. <clears throat> Sheeb's name is Dan? I had no idea that's, nope, he's still Sheeb and Dan is Dan, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> he hasn't been called by Sheeb, he's married and out west now. He married a South African. She talks like, I don't know, I can't get the accent down, but it's a great accent. I like it. <laughs> it's fun. <clears throat> Dan, when you travel to the States, do you stop in Michigan? I'd really like the chance to meet you in person, talk about mini wargaming. I'm all new to the wargaming stuff. Um, no, I usually fly out and I'm going to Kansas. So, so no, sorry. How many models do you have at the moment? I mean, oh, in, in War Machine. Um, I got the three, I got the Battle Box, so it's the three Warjacks, the Caster, uh, Striker, and ten Long Gunners. And, oh, recently, where is it? I just bought the Black 13th Gun Mage Strike Team. Ooh. Um, we'll see. The more, once I got the cards and like started reading them, and I'm starting to get more and more familiar with War Machine now, and just how to build a list. I've just been like playing around on like the internet, different like websites that have those like list builders. And with, with the 10 long gunners and the Black 13th, that'll make a 25 point army. And so that'll even out things. But again, not the most competitive list. 
I've been more learning that the Black 13th is more good in bigger lists because of the different AoEs I can put down. They can like ignore stealth, ignore different cover and concealment, and so it just opens up. Although that works with the Long Gunners too, I guess. Although when they do their combined shots, you're almost guaranteed to hit often. So it doesn't make a huge, huge difference, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I guess I just have to play more. I've only played two games. One was a demo game. The other one was kind of, and it only lasts a couple turns too. So again, we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, that's my army as of right now. And so this week I'll be painting up the other four long gunners and the black 13th. And then after that, who knows? I think more maybe the uh, melee infantry, like some storm blades, I think, or no, not storm blades, the, the basic. I can never remember the names of all of them. I'm still, still getting to learn everything. Still good. Yeah, I like this brown a lot better. This is scorched brown. Just a good old dark brown. Um, I think it's a bit funny. I will start building my War Machine army at the summer and you damn before the summer. Cool, cool. As long as you're starting one, and the whole world will play War Machine. We'll all rejoice. Yeah, like, I, I just keep on getting more and more excited about War Machine the more I read the rules and understand just all the different things you can do. And that's just Signar. I have no idea what other armies are capable of, really. It's kind of like, <clears throat> even with my orcs with 40k, there's so many times where I fight, like, a new codex and I'm just, like, too lazy to look it up or, <laughs> or learn anything about it at all. I like learning by doing. And so when I play the first time, like for example, when I played uh, uh, Matt's Necrons for the first time, I got slaughtered, but I had fun still somewhat because I was like, okay, so this is what Necrons are capable of. And then the last couple of Necron battle reports, I did a lot better. Um, just because, I mean, and th there were different lists too, but just, just knowing what they're capable of. And same thing with the uh, Grey Knights. Like I'm still, I'm still learning how to play orcs against them. Again, you could always just default the green tide and slaughter everybody, but I like trying it a different way, more, more tactful, more, more fun way. Let's put it that way. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So. Because there's so much crap on this guy already, I think I'm gonna keep like the shoulder pads the same, like shoulder pads red, and then the squad leader will have blue shoulder pads instead, and maybe like a red cape instead of a blue cape. So it's a lot easier because the model model wise, they all look the same. There's like one guy slightly up on a rock with his foot up, and I'm pretty sure he's a squad leader. Oh yeah, and he's got like a beard. He's, if you look closely, he's definitely the squad leader, but I'll paint him so he pops a bit more, so it won't won't be as weird and stupid when you're because when you're playing, you don't want to think about what models which you just want to look and see and know. So that is what's gonna happen there. Let's make these boots black. We'll do that. I want to use... Uh, <clears throat> Let's use the Reaper Black. Where are you going, Dan? Will you be hunting down local games when you get there? Um, probably not. Down in Colorado last summer, I had a, like a gaming shop, maybe five minutes from my apartment. And they had like every Friday night, they like played like almost all night. But just like with, 
with door-to-door -door sales, you're just so busy all the time. The only time you have open really is in the morning or yeah, really in the morning or late evening and you don't want to stay out too late because you have like an early morning meeting and then you have a few hours in the morning of free time. So I never actually got around to playing, but I do plan on bringing stuff to paint and convert mainly from orcs, but maybe some War Machine stuff too. With sales, it's you kind of have to do what everyone else is doing. Kind of sounds silly, but like just to keep motivated and to, because sales is a hard job. Where did all that water come from? I don't know what you guys are talking about when you guys have like say, I'll oh, just put like a drop of water to like thin out the paint. It seems thin enough to me. And whenever I put water, it just thins it out way too much and I'm just, it doesn't work at all. So maybe someone can clarify that. Sometimes the, the paint is really like thick and yeah, you need water to thin it out. But most paints I find come thinned out enough as it is. Maybe I'm just not painting at a very high level. Yeah, so now like with this water that's here, it's just... Maybe I just need to shake up the paint. Maybe that's my issue. <laughs> Maybe I'm just silly. Because this is just ridiculous. Ah, better. What do you know? Sorry guys. My incompetence abounds. I believe it on you guys though. Talking to you guys. Talking to a camera. It's kind of a unique experience actually. It's kind of hard to explain it fully or like, but just like I'm talking to a video camera, which unless I put on the internet, no one will ever see. And so I'm kind of talking to myself, but because luckily mini wargaming is kind of popular, I don't not, not for the sole fact that people like me all that much. Well, not that people don't like me. I'm a likable enough guy, right? But, uh, Mini Wargaming is big enough that I'll get a few thousand views no matter what. Which is awesome. And thanks for the views. That's great. It's just like a few thousand people watching this. It's, just, it's a strange thought and feeling. But it's good though. I like the attention. <laughs> I'm a little vain. Let's be honest. All right, um, regarding the War Machine Jacks, there are no real weapon options on the Jacks themselves. There are a few large Jack kits that allow different builds, but all in all, it's different than 40K vehicles mag where magnetization is useful. Also, the arms were attached to the model so small, there's not a lot of material to work with. It can be done, but it's not easy. Um, real reason is so you can take it off when the arm gets destroyed. Hmm, something to think about. Yeah, there was no customization at all with the first kit. But however, when you buy a heavy warjack kit, it gives you like, I think three or four options on what you can build. So I guess if I magnetize my first ones already, then I guess I could have more options still. But. I'll just buy them and paint them. I've actually yet to magnetize anything in my life. Doesn't seem too, too hard. I think I'd be good at it, but just gotta get around to doing it, I guess. <laughs> 